Hi, welcome again to another free response practice question, Unit 4, uh, Chapters 5 and 6 in the Practice of Statistics, updated 6th edition textbook. Uh, this problem specifically is from 2018. Uh, this is the most recent one. If you notice, these have all been question number threes. So it seems to be a very popular question to put these, multi uh, these probability type questions on. Um, free response question number three, 2018. And again, if you're looking for scoring guidelines, you certainly are welcome to go up here to that bit.ly link and you can uh, uh, you can try the problem on your own first and look at the scoring guidelines and check to see how you did. Uh, let's look at the, the questions. Okay, so on this first question here, we're talking about multiple births. Approximately 3.5% of all children born in a certain region are from multiple births. That is twins, triplets, blah, blah, blah. Of the children born in the region who are from multiple births, 22% are left-handed. Of the children born in the region who are from single births, 11% are left-handed. And we have a few questions to answer uh, in relation to that. Uh, what's the probability that a randomly selected child born in the region is left-handed? So it looks like we might have to do a tree diagram here, right? Because we have uh, multiple groups coming together. We want to know what's the probability of left-handed. Um, so I'll just do like a tree diagram here. That's probably what's going to happen there. What's well, probability that a randomly selected child born in the region uh, is a child from a multiple birth, given the child is left-handed? So it looks like we're going to have to do a conditional. So that's a given, 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 given. Remember, that's the symbol. Um, C, a random sample of 20 children born in the region will be selected. What is the probability that the sample will have at least three children who are left-handed? At least three out of 20. A set number of children, at least three. It looks like that's going to be a binomial there. And then part D, are the events multiple verse and left-handed independent? Explain your answer. So that's just kind of knowing how to determine if two outcomes are independent. Remember, independent uh, does one. Uh, does the probability of multiple verse is that affected by uh, whether they're given left-handed or not. So like, uh, is the probability of multiple births equal to the probability of multiple births given that they're from left-handed? So we wanna kind of test those to see if they're equal, uh, then that would make sure that they're independent or not. All right, so let's get into question A. What's the probability of the randomly selected child born in the region is left-handed? Go ahead and do a good old fashioned tree diagram for that. And first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say multiple verse and not multiple verse. So multiple verse, we're talking about 3.5%, uh, so 0 0.035. So that means, let's see, 96.5.965 is going to be from uh, non-multiple verse. And then I'm going to branch off into left-handed versus right-hand. So I'll just do LHRH. I suppose there could be like ambidextrous. Uh, so we'll just left left handed and not left handed, I guess would be better, but we'll say left handed, right handed just for purposes here. And it looks like from multiple bursts, we're looking at 22%. So 0.22. Um, so 22% uh, from 100 is 78%. And then 11% from the um, single burst, and um, that'd be 89%. And then finally, at the end, we want to do your ands. And remember, your ands should add to one. So um, those multiply together. And um, let's, let's see what we're, we're trying to figure out. What's the probability that a randomly selected child born in the region is left-handed? So if I'm just looking at the left-handed, I really just need to know this one and that one, right? So I'm gonna just put those in the calculator to save time. This top one looks like it's gonna be 0 .0077, 0 0.0077. So that's pretty small. Um, but again, it's pretty small to be from multiple births. So that would make sense. And then this one here, 0. 0.965 times 0. 0.11 is going to be about 0. 0.10615. 
0.10615. And then on this problem here, we just want to combine those. So if you want to add those together, that should give you your answer. So we want to combine, um, and they're going to add to, uh, looks like about 0.11385. So again, to answer the question, the probability that a randomly selected person in the region is left-handed, they could be either from multiple births or not multiple births. You want to add those two together after you do your multiply, and you get that, 0.11835. Almost always when you are answering a second part of this question, it's going to involve the question you used from your true diagram. So uh, it's important that we can set up our true diagram and get the first probability correct to be able to answer the second part. This question is no exception. What's the probability that a randomly selected child born in the region is a small is a child from a multiple birth given they are left-handed? So we're given left-handed. So really the setup is probability um, multiple birth given left-handed, which is the same as probability multiple birth and left-handed divided by the probability of the left-handedness. Well, we have the left-handedness. That's this 0.11385, which we just calculated. So uh, the numerator is going to be the one that comes from the multiple birth. So if we look at, a, you know, if we're kind of tracing along there, you're going to say, well, I'm going to go to the multiple birth one, and I'm going to find this one here, and then that's going to be what goes on the top. So, right? so this is your numerator. So it's going to be 0 0.0077. And then this is going to go down here. So in other words, what percent of the left-handed people come from multiple births? That's what we're trying to calculate. Um, so divide those two out. And it looks like we're getting about 0 0.0676. So the calculator for me is, you might want to double check my calculations, but I'm getting... 0 0.0676. 0 0.0676. Again, show that work there. Show, show either show your symbols or show what you're calculating. Notice I didn't recalculate these. I referred to the true diagram above, which you're going to want to do if you if you are going to draw a true diagram. All right, uh, part C. A random sample of 20 children born in the region will be selected. What is the probability that the sample will have at least three children who are left-handed? So a random sample of 20, set number, binomial. What is the probability that the sample will have at least three children who are left-handed? And I'm going to tell you right now, if you uh, if you didn't get an answer for part A, or if you made up something, then you're going to want to use that for part C. So if, you, if you're going to part C and you did not answer part A and you know, hey, this is a binomial, I can do it, then you better go up to part A and you better write an answer down because you're going to use this in here so you can get credit for it, okay? On a reasonable estimate, you know, not five, five like 0.5 or 0.1 or something like that. Um, so in this case here, we have our answer, right? Um, so if you look at part A, the answer for part A was 0.1385, left-handedness, right? So the probability of left hand equals 0.11385, right? We have that. But again, if you did not have that, you'd go back to part A and you'd make up an answer so you can use that answer for part C. Got it? So now if I'm answering this question here, um, I know it's going to be a binomial. So at least three children who are left-handed. So the probability that um, that we're talking about three or more, at least three. Well, we can't go above. So it's going to be the same as one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to two. So if you think about like, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 20, at least three is the same as one minus this, right? Less than or equal to two. So we're gonna do a binomial and we're gonna do a binomial CDF because we're doing a multiple, uh, a range of things. 
So you can go to your calculator and you're going to do binomial CDF. Don't bother to do it with, with the individual binomial formula because you have to do it for two, one, and zero, and that's 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 a bit. So, um, so you're going to do binomial CDF for that. Again, write binomial CDF. Define your inputs. N equals twenty. Uh, P is again. You're going to use that point one one three eight five. And X is, you said to say less than or equal to two. Don't say X equals two because it's a CDF. So it's less than or equal to two. So we're going to subtract that from one. And whatever that is, one minus that will be your answer. Okay. So let's calculate that. Okay. So binomial CDF, second VARS, uh, go up a few times, go to binome CDF. Trials twenty p point one one. You, I mean, if you're if you round differently, it's fine. Point one one four is fine. Um, I, I'm just going to use all the decimals I have. X is two, two or less, so two one and zero. Two one and zero. It's, it's adding them three together, and that's going to give us about point five nine seven eight five. Point five nine seven eight five. So one minus 0. 0.59785 would be that over there. And so that's gonna give you about 40%, 40.2%, so 0. 0.40215. So the probability that the sample will have at least three children who are left-handed is, approximately 40.2%. Binome CDF, binomial CDF. Last question, are the events multiple births and left-handed independent? And we actually calculated these already. Multiple births, multiple births, that's given to us. Multiple births, the probability of multiple births is Right there, 0 0.035, 3.5%. So that's already given to us. What we want to find is the probability of multiple births, knowing that they're left-handed. Does that change the probability? Well, guys, we already calculated that. It's right down here. Multiple births given left-handed is 0 0.0676. Right, so we got that in part, what, well, that, was, that was part B. So you can reference that if you want. Now guys, these are not the same, okay? These are not equal to each other. Since the probability of multiple births is not equal to the probability of multiple births given that uh, they're from left-handed people, um, then the, the left-handedness change the outcome of the multiple births. So since, uh, since probability of multiple births is not equal to probability of multiple births given left-handedness, uh, they are not independent. That means they're kind of like dependent, right? It means like, it means you're more likely to be left-handed uh, from a multiple birth than you are from just in general. Uh, but that's generally the, the, the general rule. Um, here, if, if, they're, if they are equal, they're independent. If they're not equal, they're not independent. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. You are uh, awesome. I hope that whoever you are watching this video, it helps you kind of understand a little bit about some probability. And I uh, appreciate you watching. And um, shout out if you have any questions.